Good morning, Glow Kids, and welcome to another Sunday. If you didn't know, my name is Danny, and I'm going to be taking us through today's lesson. But before we start, let us pray quickly. So let's just close our hands, close our eyes, and let's talk to God quickly. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that we have another Sunday where we can just learn about you, Lord, and learn about just all the amazing things that you have done, Lord. Um, I just pray for every single boy and girl that's listening to this video, Lord. May they hear your voice today, Lord, and hear you, and just learn something just extra special about you today, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, so today we're going to be learning a little bit more about Joshua and the Israelites. So last week, we learned about how they crossed the River Jordan and how they re reached the land that the Lord had promised them. But today, we're going to be learning about just how they entered this area called Jericho. So, after they had crossed the river, there was this land called Jericho and there was like some people living in this land. And they didn't like the Israelites very much. So, God told um, Joshua, who was now leading the, the Israelites, he told Joshua, you need to go to this area of Jericho and you need to march around the town once daily for six days. So um, at the end of the six days, then the Lord said, then on the seventh day, you must go and march around the town seven times. And then after that, you must shout and blow your horns and all the walls will fall down. So uh, Joshua gathered all of the Israelites and they went to the town of Jericho and they started marching. On the first day, they marched around the town once. On the second day, they marched around the town once. And this kept going until six days later. And each day, they walked, they marched around the town once um, each day. Then on the seventh day, they went and they marched around the town, not once, not twice, not three times, but seven times, they went and marched around the town of Jericho. Then Joshua told the Israelites to scream. And they all started screaming and shouting. And then suddenly the ground started rumbling and all the walls fell down and the Israelites walked into the town of Jericho. So the lesson uh, of, of this story and the, the reason why we're learning about it is that we can trust God to, to lead us into absolutely anything. And we can trust him that he's got our backs even when we're in a little bit of doubt or sometimes things may seem a little bit scary. God's got us. Look how he had the Israelites. He promised them this land and he told them that, you know, if they just followed what he said, that they would be able to go into this land. And they did. Um, and that's what we can take from the story. That no matter what we go through in life, the Lord's got us. And that no matter what happens, he'll always guide and strengthen us. So I want you guys to remember this. No matter where you, what you're doing in life, if something seems a little bit scary or you're a little bit unsure about it, just know that the Lord's got you and that He's going to protect you. And he's going to guide and strengthen you through all of this. So let's quickly just end up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you that we can trust you, Lord. Thank you that no matter what we go through in life, you've got us, Heavenly Father. Thank you that no matter what we face, no matter what giants we face in our lives, Lord, you are always protecting us and you're always guiding us, Lord. So I just pray for every person listening to this, Lord. May they just know that no matter what they face, Heavenly Father, that you've got them and that you are protecting them through it all, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. So if you didn't know, we are back live at church. So if you guys are able to, we would love to see you. But if not, it's so awesome that we can communicate through, um, through these videos to you guys. And I can't wait for the day where we get to see all your faces again. But until then, I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday and that you guys have an even better week. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.